Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's important interview scenario, we are going to solve a question that was asked in Brillio company. And the question was how to color your bar which are above average and below average. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. So first let us build a view for this so that we can solve. And let us also discuss, you know, what is the most common approach that many of the candidates have tried in the interview. So first thing is, you know, that comes to mind whenever we get a situation like this is to use reference line concept, right? So we will be going to analytics tab and we will be using this reference on table. And under this, we have an option called as a fill above and fill below. Okay, so this we will try to use. Okay, like if I click like this, something like this, it is serving our purpose. But if you observe what is happening in this case, it is coloring our background, which is not our intention. We don't want that. As per the requirement that we want, we want to color our bar, which are above average and which are below below average, right? So to find out that, what I'm doing is I'm just, you know, uh, maybe we can also edit, uh, remove this for now because we don't need. And I only want to find out what is the actual value of my average. So 135, 129 is the average that we have. I want to find out this for now and we will calculate 135 and based on that, we'll try to derive a flag for that. Now let us try to derive this. So what I'm doing is I'm simply preparing a cross tab report here. So we have our sales with respect to subcategory. Now to find out average, what is the formula in general, sum of items by? count of items right so now first we need to find out our total sales for this so for that what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create a calculation called as a total sales for subcategory okay and i'm simply using an lod function to categorize something like this or you know so i hope you are aware what is this type of lod called as i'm writing like this and let us bring this into the view and maybe I'll create a, yeah. Now we are getting total sales, fine. Now total sales divided by count of, distinct count of subcategory item that we need. So let us also find out that. So I'm just trying to edit that in the same thing or maybe I'll create a, a calculation total I'm writing it as total distinct subcategory. And I'm calling it as something like this count distinct of subcategories. Simply like this, I can use. Click on apply. Let us see what is the result here. I'm getting, we are getting 17, perfect. Okay, now we want to find average for this. So instead of that, I will write average sales here. Now on top of this, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use our LOD function that we have written earlier. So I can write like this and check the results. So this is also at the table scoped and this is also at the table scoped. And if I try to click on apply, I'm getting the result that I need, average this. So I can also write my LOD expression, something like this, fixed, I'm just writing colon here. So this is also my LOD expression, but let us observe result here. This is also giving me same result. Okay, so I can, either you can use fixed, but difference is here, you see, observe, when I've used this fixed LOD, I have not specified any dimension in this. So it takes at a table level. So this is one way of writing your LOD expression or if at all you don't need, simply you can remove this. Both should serve the purpose. Both ways we can write an LOD expression. Now comment in the comment section, how many of you know that, you know, we can write an LOD expression like this or only using fixed keyword I'm writing and I'm not specifying 
any keyword that we also I can write. Okay, so these are the new points that we have learned in this. Now, based on this, I want to uh, create a flag. Okay, so what I'm doing, simply I'll take this and uh, I'll write, like say, flag for average sales. So if, uh, what is the calculation that we have written? If our average, if our sum of sales, or sorry, if a total sales for subcategory, which is this one, is, okay, not that one, we are wrong. So this salary we want to compare. So simply we can write sum of if our sum of sales is greater than the average sales that we have created just now, then it is above else it is below and simple okay so what is the error here cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate because here we are aggregating this and this is an LOD expression so on top of that also you can write some to fix that and click on apply so I'll take this and drop it here or here. Now observe the result. Wherever there is sales, which is greater than 135, here we are getting above. Observe this. I can use this uh, above or below on color as well to fix or to get what we need. See, it is coloring that. Same likewise, I'll just simply remove this and I'll simply create a bar chart. We got the result. That way we can solve this issue. Okay, so that's it from my side. In this video, I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and comment. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.